For self-check exercises 13.21 and 13.22, we're asked the same thing. We're just passed in a different array and a different value we need to find. We're asked to write the indexes of the element that would be examined by the binary search and write the value that would be returned from the search. First, we're going to look at our indexes examined. We have our minimum value as negative 1 and our max value as 74. Our middle value is going to be 39. Here we can search this. In a binary search, what it does is it has a minimum, a middle, and a maximum value. And we are going to break this up between this side and this side. Now our binary search has to be in order. And that's so that if we have the value 42, we can see if it's less than or greater than our middle value, which is 39. Since it's greater than our middle value, all of this is not going to be looked at. Now we have our new minimum value and we have the same maximum value. Our new middle value is going to be 57 and we check where 42 is. It is not on this side, so we don't look at these. So our indexes examined so far are going to be seven and 11. The next part that we have to look at is 40 being our min, 50 being our maximum, and 42 being our middle value. 42 is our middle value and it's at index nine. And our indexes are gonna be in the order of seven, 11, and nine. The value returned is not actually going to be the value at this index. What it's asking for is the index that the value is stored at to be returned, and the index is 9. In the chapter 13 book for Java, we have a binary search method. We have a recursion type, but we also have a just regular binary searching in a single method. We can see that our return statement is just the index, not the value. If it was the value at the index, it would have to be the array and then brackets with whatever index it would be looking at. Since it's just returning mid, which stores the index, that's why it's returning the index and not the value. So we need to kind of have had looked at this code to know what we were doing. Next, we have self-check 13.22 binary search for and it's going to be the exact same thing where we use this method that we've coded out well first we're going to assign our minimum value and our max value we can see here that our max value is 13 which is an odd number since we are dealing with integers we have to divide this by two since we're dealing with integers we have to round this to the lowest, closest, even number, which is 12, and then divide that by two. So we're gonna get our current middle value is six. We're passed in the number negative five. So we have to try to find that in our array. Now, when we look at this again, negative five is less than zero. So the, all of the stuff on our right side we're not even going to look at. We're only going to look at the stuff on the left side. We have the same minimum value. We have a new maximum value. And we have a new minimum value, which is going to be the second index. We can say 2 is our new minimum value, which is going to be the next one examined. And negative 5 is not in our second index. It is greater than negative 6, though. So we're going to cancel all of these to the left out. Now we have a new minimum value, which is negative four, a new maximum value, or the same maximum value, which is negative one, and a new minimum value, which is negative two. If we look at our value that's passed in, it is negative five. This means that it's not gonna be between negative two and negative one. So we can cancel these out. This should also have been canceled out. This zero should have been canceled out with this stuff as well. Lastly, we're just gonna have negative four to look at. And since it's our only last number that we haven't looked at, it's gonna be our min, our mid, and our max value. Since it is all of these, that means the binary search has ended and we have not found negative five. 
which means we are going to return negative one. Our indexes examine were first six, then we had two, then we had four, and lastly we had three.